After styling the navigation area with our fancy links here, we can then move on to the content in the footer area. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move to the footer first because it's really not that much work and we can get it out of the way fairly quickly. Now, generally in your footer, you have um, what I like to call footer links, which are generally things like contact, terms of service, maybe copyright information, like your site is copyright by, all rights reserved. These are typical things you see in the footer area of websites. So that's what we're going to do. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the background color for this, and I'm going to add a padding on the top of 5 pixels, and I'm also going to add a border on the top of 5 pixels. So we're going to do a era of 1 pixel, sorry. So a 1 pixel solid black border right there. So this will give us a 1 pixel solid black border on the top of our box here. So if we go ahead and refresh the page here, we now have our footer uh, text there and this extra space. So I'm also going to get rid of the height. So now if we go ahead and go to our index uh, page here, we can then just add in those general content things. So I'm just going to add in some basic stuff to get it out of the way. So copyrights, I'll say 2011, nickfrosty.com, things like that. And we will even make the text there a link. So the href value will just be dot slash, which will take us to the current directory. So we can then refresh. We then have our text and then our link. Now, the, the bad thing about this is since we only styled our links in our navigation area or the nav area, um, we have this very plain, very simple, and default link style. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so we can style the rest of our links on uh, the rest of the page. So to do this, you simply type in anchor because we want to style the anchor tag, or A rather. We want to style the anchor tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the color to let's say hash 4284ED. So if we then just refresh, we have this very light blue color here. Now I'm also going to set the text decoration to none, so it'll get rid of the background or the uh, underline. So that'll get rid of the underline. Now I'm going to apply the hover effect, so H hover. And I'm going to set the color on the hover to just that red that we used earlier. So all we have to do is we can refresh and we can now hover over and we have red. Now I'm going to set the text decoration to underline when we hover. So when we hover over it'll give us an underline uh, style there. Now I'm also going to uh, change up the spacing on the website itself. I'm going to add a 10 pixel spacing on the outside of our um, entire site. And I'm going to change all these inner spacings to 5 pixels. So the footer I'm going to change to 10. And the wrapper pixels are the uh, padding there. Change that to 10. The content will have margin top of 5, bottom of 5. And that should take care of everything there. Oh, except for the navigation, which will have a margin top of five. So it gives us more spacing on the entire site itself, and then less spacing on the innards, if you will. So we have our text here, um, and you can just put in anything you want down there. But for now, that's what I'm just going to leave it as. Now we can actually move on to the primary content area of the site. Now the content area is going to be two column, like I said earlier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the background color here. And that is just um, so uh, it, we can work with our two separate columns that we will create in a minute. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to set a min tack height value of our content. So that, that means that we want to set a minimum height of 200 pixels. So the width of or the height of the column, the columns themselves, will be 200. And then if there's any extra content that can expand it, it will then... Uh, make it grow. So inside of our content we can go ahead and create two divs. Now I'm going to create a div ID of left and a div ID of right. Now the left will be the left column and the right will be the right column. 
So we can go ahead and put in some basic text in here. So left column, right column, well, oh, right column, sorry. So we can go ahead and refresh. We now have left and right column here. It's just simple text that's put in there, nothing special about it, and they're not um, columns, they're just empty text. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start creating those styles. So straighten up my style sheet here. So we are going to style the primary columns. So since we want to style the columns in the content area of the wrapper, There we go. So we want to style the left and right columns of our wrapper. So the left column, I'm going to set a background color to say CCC. And the right column will have a background color of something a lot darker. Uh, and the reason for this is so they stand out. So if we refresh the page, whoops, and Reason, and the reason is because this should be the right column. So now we have two separate um, colors that are very distinctive and you can definitely tell the difference between them. So what we need to do is we need to set a width to both of these. Now, the width of the left column, so I'm going to use the left column as my primary column, which will be a lot larger. I'm going to set the width to 600 pixels. Now, I'm going to set the width of the right column to, um, let's say, 250 pixels for now. So this will give us a total of 850 pixels. Now, I'm actually going to set the width to 300 pixels. Now, the reason I'm going to set the width um, to these to equal 900, because if you remember, or scroll up to the top, the wrapper width is 900. So we can go ahead and refresh this. So we have, whoops, and that shouldn't be height, that should be width. So there we go. So we now have two columns um, that equal up to the total height of our entire website. Now the problem with this uh, right here is that they're both um, on the right side, or the left side rather. So what we're going to do is we want to put the left column on the right on the left side and the right column on the right side. And that was actually my phone. Okay, so we want to put them on their proper sides. So to do this, we need to use the float style. Now the float style does exactly what it essentially says. It's, it's you're going to float your columns. So you want to float the the right column to the right side, and you want to float the left column to the left side. So if we do this, it kicks them both over here. Now normally this would um, collapse here, and our left and right columns would be on top of our footer here. Just to show you that, we need to get rid of our height on our content. So if I refresh, you can see that. It's totally collapsed and it shouldn't have, it shouldn't be like that. Now the reason being is because the left and right columns, they're floated, so they are, they are taken out of the normal flow of the web page. So we need to put them back in their flow, um, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class. So to create, to style classes in CSS, you use the period or dot, if you will. Now then you type in the class name. Now I'm going to name this clear because we're going to be using the clear style and we want to clear both. Now you can either clear left, right, or both. So we're going to clear both um, sides. So we're going to create a div that will have no content in it and we need to set a class attribute of clear. So after doing that, it then straightens up our columns and fixes everything accordingly. So then we have our columns. Now we can go ahead and go back to our CSS here, and we can get rid of our background colors for our left and right columns, and we can go ahead and put back in our minimum height on our content. So we can then refresh, and we have our general, very simple web page created. So this is, this is creating a very simple two-column website. Um, now we can go ahead and put in all the text you want in your left or right column, um, and to show you this, I am just going to pause this and put in a bunch of random text, nothing important. Alright, 
So I've put in a bunch of text uh, that is uh, commonly referred to or known as uh, lorem ipsum. You can see it right here. And it's essentially just a bunch of random text that uh, covers all characters. So we can put this text in, and it kind of screws up the columns here. Now, to fix this, what we're going to do is we are going to increase the width increase the width of our header, or our wrapper here. So I'm going to increase the width by 20 pixels, and by doing that, it gives it a nice uh, bit more spacing in between them. Now, there's still a problem with, there's extra space up here, and I think that may actually be because, yep, so I put in an extra line break in there. So we now have our text that's being aligned here, um, and everything, our columns expand, um, depending on how much content we have, and everything like that. So this concludes this uh, web dev tutorial on how to create a two column website. Um, the entire code for this project will be available on uh, my website nickfrosty.com slash downloads. It will be in the downloads section. Uh, you can download this entire project. Now in later tutorials we will likely be using this uh, website structure that we've already created of our navigation and everything. Uh, we will be using this in future tutorials for uh, various things. So look out for those, and hope you learned something. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.